Dad was the one that was here, and today I'm going to be doing a recap of Sony's E3 2017 press conference. Now, yesterday when I did one of these, I was quite tired, I suppose, but I'm just gonna look through it. I haven't watched the entire thing again, I'm just getting up, like a little script and stuff. Okay, if it will actually load. Yep. So I've watched the like first little bit. I think the game. I forgot exactly what the game was called now. I literally only just watched it a minute ago. But there was some. There was some uh, actually some really cool stuff that they did have at the start. They did have Ubisoft. I uh, not Ubisoft. Uncharted. I called it. I, I knew. I just told my friends. Obviously, they're gonna have Ubisoft. Obviously. Um, and they did. <laughs> Why did I keep saying Ubisoft? It's Uncharted. Jesus. Uncharted. I'm sure I've said Ubisoft then. Uncharted, I meant. They. I knew they would. It's called something like. I forgot. It's some stereotypical name like Origins. I don't know. Let me have a look quickly. So they have showed a few things. It's Days Gone, I think it was. Yeah, it was Days Gone. That was the one I was watching. That actually looked really cool with that. Uh, stealth, it was, I'm not sure if it was zombies or not, but when they were killing them people in that camp, that was cool. They did show a few other games as well, apparently. I didn't watch all of it. Um, well, apparently, just check it here, apparently they showed a bit of Call of Duty World War 2, which I didn't see a huge amount, and I haven't seen just yet. But apparently it follows the young soldier from the US 1st Infantry Division and includes iconic World War II moments like the D-Day invasion of Normandy and the Battle of the Bulge. I have seen a bit of that footage of the World War II that actually looked pretty cool. I probably should have watched a bit more of this otherwise like a lot of this I don't know. But I'm just looking through these, cool, these all really quickly. They also had that Uncharted game, which is called The Lost Legacy. So it's a standalone chapter with fan favourite character Chloe Frazier as she embarks on an adventure alongside Mercenary and Dean Ross in search for a mystical treasure known as the Tusk. It actually, actually did look pretty cool, um, but it's not, it wasn't really a huge amount shown. I thought it was Last of Us for a second, but they've also got VR for Elder Scrolls. VR, they started doing VR for a few things now, and I don't really see the hype a huge amount. VR is a cool idea, but it's just, it's a bit too expensive at the moment, I think. Like, I don't know, last time I checked, an Oculus Rift was still like 700, 800 pounds, or maybe I'm, maybe I'm completely wrong. They showed off the new Spider-Man Spider game as well, which that actually looks really cool. I love Spider-Man. It, it looks more Spider-Man get my man games are pretty cool and to it says it's set to release sometime in 2018 well I think that's fine it could have came up with the movie but it doesn't look like it's complete no it does actually it looks more cartoony but it's a very it, lo it looks a very stunning game uh, the last Spider-Man game that I played was Amazing Spider-Man, which people didn't like really. I don't know why. It was actually a really good game, I think. I I really enjoyed Amazing Spider-Man. The game it was really cool. Also showed off a remake of Shadow of the Colossus, but they didn't really tell us that much. It did it did look really cool. I've I've never played Shadow of the Colossus before, but I kind of understand what it is and why people really really like it. It's apparently one of the best games of uh, 2005. Well, maybe even the best. Although I'd probably say one of them <laughs> one of the best is probably Mario Kart DS. But still, you got that, and people really like that. That's a fan favorite. So I don't know. It seems like they're doing quite well. Got a new Monster Hunter game as well. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity. That looks cool, actually. But it goes back to its roots, apparently, with two on two fights. Again, I haven't watched all of this, but. Oh, Infinity Stones, a new mechanic. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I know I keep saying pretty cool for most of it, but. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I've already reviewed that game on my channel. When I could actually be bothered to make videos, and I made videos like every two weeks, not even that, for a while. But. Like reviews, 
but Marvel vs. Capcom, I really like it, it's just, it's just, it's different, it's so different to everything else, and just, it's, it's got all these powers, it's got commas, it's quite similar, I suppose, to Street Fighter and stuff, um, a little bit, but it does also have its own unique twists, like the 3-on-3 three three or 2-on-2, two two, whatever, I think it's, I'm not sure, I think it's, you can do 3-on-3, three three. I'm, I'm not sure, I can't exactly remember on Capcom, I'm not sure if you just do 2-on-2, two two. I think it might just be 2-on-2, two two, but you can do 2-on-3, so, I don't know, that sounds like a good idea, got a few other games here, so, basically, it's, they're making a soft reboot of God of War, why do they have to keep rebooting this stuff? These games are really, really cool. They've got so many other IPs. Why do they have to start remastering stuff again? There's also a game called Detroit Become Human. Um, it, well, one of these will be played by Grey's Anatomy. Anatomy Jesse Williams. So, no release date has been announced. Let me just look at that quickly, because... I, that was something I did not see. Become sorry if you can hear anything in the background. Detroit become human. Let's have a look at it quickly. Teases an Android Revolution. Let me have a look quickly. I'll just quickly skim through the, the trailer. It's five minutes long, Jesus man. Um Yeah, that looks cool. Throwing stuff. It looks like a rebellion. It looks like something modern. Oh, yeah, some technology right there. So, yeah, actually, that game looks sick as well. But I'm not going to buy a PS4 for just... Look, most of these games, there's no point buying a PS4 just for... A lot of these are already stuff that they've uh, released. There's also Destiny 2, apparently, which is going to be on the others. It's, there's no, I don't think Destiny 2 would stay on just PS4. Um, but it looks cool. It actually does look really cool. Destiny 2. I haven't played Destiny 1. I should, uh, because it, it does look cool. It's a good game. I think. <laughs> the multiplayer run I've seen, seen of it is really, really good. But I'm not sure about Destiny 2. I'm not sure how different it's going to be. They've already added like loads of expansion packs for the first one anyway. So I don't really see the point of doing this other stuff. Um, There's also one more game. Where was it? Horizon. Oh no, that's not it. Horizon Zero Dawn. The Frozen Worlds. Oh yeah, so it's made by Guerrilla Games. They made Killzone. Killzone was really cool actually. I like Killzone. Horizon Zero Dawn is expanding this year. Oh, it's just expanding. Oh, okay. So it's not actually... It's not actually a new game. It's just expanding. It's just an expansion pack. Okay, that's fine. Uh, they showed a few other games as well, apparently. They showed Undertale on PS4 again. Ooh, Crash Bandicoot as well. I need to see that, actually. I want to see that in a minute. Um, I'll do that after this video. I want to see the Crash Bandicoot thing. I will look... I'm sorry I haven't watched the whole thing, it's just I don't really have time at the moment. I've got school, so. Insane Trilogy. Yep. Trailer brings a funky soundtrack remaster, remix. Oh, okay. Alright, let's see it. Crash Bandicoot, Insane Trilogy, E3, 2002. I don't really care about the other games, really. I know this video's going on a little bit. Your video will resume in five seconds for some reason. Oh, that, looks, that actually does look really good. Um, I love Crash Bandicoot. I was going to review one, the second one for my channel, but I didn't in the end. I love Crash Bandicoot. It's it's so cool just going around and doing all the stuff. It's a bit unique as well with all the boxes and stuff like that. I played a lot of Wrath of Cortex, which is meant to be one of the ones that isn't very good. I don't know why people don't like that. But, yeah, this video has gone on for 10 minutes. It's gone on a lot longer because I haven't really seen a huge amount of the conference. And I've had to look a few things up. But I'll just cut this a little bit. So, you know, uh, tonight I will be doing. Yeah, tonight, once I've edited this video, I will be doing. Oh, damn it, I should put this here on. I didn't even realise this had finished here. I need to start doing that. But 
I will do a Nintendo one as well. So stay tuned for that. So anyway, sorry this video has gone over a bit, might be a bit boring again. But thanks very much for watching guys. Peace the hell out.